Well, hi there, Pam. I know, two days in a row, a video message. I'll be honest, I was out and just had some thoughts I wanted to get to you now, and, and hopefully you hear these. I know a lot of people think, why does he keep writing letters and doing videos to her? She can't see them, and maybe you can, maybe you can't. But it's not about everybody else. It's about me and how I handle this transition. It just makes me feel good to send you a note or send you a video message. Look where I'm at today. I came hiking at Mount Shasta. Absolutely beautiful. I remember how we kept saying last year, you're gonna get better, you're gonna get better, and we're gonna go hiking at Mount Shasta. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. Thought of you a lot today. You know, I go around with my traveling with Jack and Pam placard on and seems to be doing the trick. People ask me about it and I get into some amazing conversations. And then I whip out our card and I give it to them and I say, be sure to subscribe. Anyway, it's been a pretty good day. I did church online this morning. I still miss going to church and miss, of course, going with you, but it's okay. I did church, made a couple of pancakes and then hit the road. It's been a good weekend. I spent yesterday at the coast and today up here at Mount Shasta, doing some videos, doing some hiking. It's been good. And then late this afternoon, as I started getting ready to head down the mountain, I had one of those funny thoughts. First of all, I thought how whenever we got out of a late day of hiking, what we probably would do then would head into the little town of Mount Shasta City or Wairika and find some little out of the way diner or something and have a little dinner together. And but you know, now with you not here, just uh, going to a restaurant alone just isn't that appealing. And it's not really that appealing going with anybody much because, I don't know, it's just different. So I'll go home and cook. And then I had another really funny thought that made me laugh, how it's going to be late when I make dinner, probably 9, 9.30. And we used to call that New York dinner when we would eat late. You remember that? That was one of those things just between a married couple. And I remember, though, Hannah and Eric, when they would hear us say that, they'd go, what in the world is New York dinner? Well, I know you remember what it was. It was our 25th wedding anniversary. We went to New York City, saw five plays in four days. It was the trip of a lifetime. And every night, we would wait and have dinner after we went to a show. And it was always 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night. It was always some of the greatest meals we'd ever had. And we said, well, in New York City, that's what you do. So when we eat dinner late, we call it New York dinner. And so I'll be smiling this evening when I make dinner for us. New York dinner. And sweetheart, you feel free to join me. Let me know that you're here. I miss you a lot. I'll always miss you. But I'm doing okay. I'm doing what they say, you know. What I tell my grief support group, I don't move on, I move forward. That's all I can do these days. And when you've got views like this, I have to believe that if heaven is better than this, wow, it must be something special. And that's why you're there, because you're special. And someday we'll all join you there. We'll be together again. I better go now. You know the drill now. I love you forever and always, Pam. Thanks. I hope you, you see this or... We're here listening. I know you're pretty busy up there in heaven, though. We'll talk again later, okay? Bye.